Hey guys, welcome back to another how to with Hunter. Um, today we're going to be doing rocks. Um, rocks will be good to help you with uh, beach mocks or sand mocks and uh, field mocks. They also do add some uh, cover for your uh, troopers or guys, whatever you use. And um, they also kind of when you mix them with trees, it gives it. It gives us that, that forest look that's not, it's just a forest, or it's not just a bunch of rocks, kind of got that nice height mix. Now, um, I have four different rocks for you today. Uh, two of them are pretty much the same rock using a different part, and then uh, the other two are kind of the same using a couple different parts. I want you guys to know, which I'm going to show you with uh, this rock, not rock, but um, you can use these in uh, other color types, so like... Uh, here I had a little like sand pile. It, I mean, it's kind of funny because you might not see something like this, but it looks good in my opinion. So I'll show you how to build these four different rocks. Um, I won't show you how to build this one because that is right here. So I'll put him back here. And um, let's get started on these how-tos. So uh, we have, right here we have our first really basic rock. It contains three one by two slopes and one one by one uh, slope okay so pretty much all you do put this together give it a slope going up and then you put the other rock in facing that way and then you put the final stud piece stud slope right on top to finish off the rock so it kind of looks like it's a complete rock not just a flat uh, top. Now in my opinion the this looks better than just a flat top where on uh, another rock I show you in my opinion uh, without it looks better so um this is a basic rock number one basic rock number two now um it's pretty much the same thing as basic rock number one except it contains two two um one by threes uh slopes now this one's built pretty much the same way you have your stud slope on top and then you put your uh those on top of one one by three slope and then you place the other one by three slope at the side just like in the uh first basic rock i showed you so here you kind of have a larger rock it kind of gets lowered to the ground uh, later so it kind of gives us that thing that a guy could be stepping over and whatnot so that is basic rock number two <clears throat> now rock I guess we can I'm not gonna call these basic rocks I'm gonna call these just rocks so rocks three and four which I'll show you um, <clears throat> sorry uh, I came up with these kind of just messing with them I'm sure other people have um, so here we go rack number three now rack number three consists of one one by two two of the uh, slope studs and two of the uh, one by two slopes now you take one that you take the two and you put them together the one by two and the one by two slope put those together then you take another one by two slope place it on top and then you place the uh, you can even do it before or after you can put the two slopes right there one on the last stud of the two by one by two and the top the very top like I said the rocks that go straight up like that look better with the finished off top personally but again it's all up to you guys how you guys want them to look now you have rock number four. Rock number four kind of I just came up with because I had a lot of these parts. So I'm like, okay, you know, what can I do with these? These got to be something more than just slopes. So um, otherwise just being good for hills, like rock portion of hills, you can uh, make them into uh, rocks themselves. <clears throat> it contains three two by two slopes. So pretty much basically you put two together, you put the one on top. That's really all it is. Then the sand one, like I said, just to show you really quick, it is a basic rock one without a slope on the top, and it's tan. So, um, 
here are the that was pretty much the basic rocks guys um i hope the fact that you guys got to watch this showed you a uh, another way to make your mocks have more scenery to them um so again rate count subscribe this has been how to's with hunter stay tuned for the next great how-to bye